What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to play The Legend of Neverland on your Windows PC or Mac. To play The Legend of Neverland on your PC, you must use an Android emulator, such as Bluestacks. Bluestacks is a popular choice to play mobile games on your PC, as it's optimized for playing mobile games. Click on the first link in the description to access this page. From here, download the Bluestacks 5 setup installer for your system. This should take a second to complete and you can follow the install wizard to install the application to your system. After the installation is complete, Bluestacks should open up automatically. Next, open a Play Store and ensure you're logged in with your Google account. Search for The Legend of Neverland and download the game to your Bluestacks emulator. Depending on your network connection, this might take a few minutes to complete. While downloading the game, you should take a look at your emulator settings. Click on this gear icon to access these settings. In the Gamepad section, enable the Gamepad Detection option. This will allow Bluestacks to recognize and receive input from your controller. Below, set the Gamepad input settings to automatic and set the Gamepad vibration option to your personal preference. This will not affect the Legend of Neverland. After connecting your controller or Gamepad, Bluestacks will recognize it and show it as an alternative to your keyboard and mouse. In the Performance tab, you should set these according to your PC's performance. Allocate a high number of CPU cores if you don't have many other applications running in the background. The same goes for your memory allocation. For users with 4GB or less RAM, set this option to basic. Under Performance Mode, make sure to set this option to balanced. This will reduce the memory and CPU usage if your PC lags or you otherwise encounter low performance. I prefer to enable the High FPS option and set the frame rate of the emulator according to my screen refresh rate. If you need more clarification on your refresh rate, right-click your desktop and select Display Settings. From here, make sure that the correct display is selected. Scroll down and click on Advanced Display. This will allow you to preview your refresh rate and change it. Back on the Display Settings page, set the display orientation to Landscape and choose a fitting resolution to play The Legend of Neverland on your monitor. If you want to troubleshoot performance issues, Enable the Display FPS during gameplay option in the Bluestack settings. You can leave the other settings to the default option and play The Legend of Neverland to see how well it runs on your PC. After launching the game, head to your in-game settings by clicking on the keyboard icon on the right side of the window. From here, enable Game Controls and see all preset controls for the game. You can change this control layout when accessing the Controls Editor. You also have the option to adjust the overlay's opacity below. The Legend of Neverland supports additional gameplay personalization options. You can adjust these by clicking on the burger menu icon at the top right. This will open a menu where you can access your in-game settings. Here, on the left side, you will find various settings such as in-game graphics, different audio effects, online chat and other related options to fine-tune to your preferences. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.